Welcome back, viewers. We have on the board if x raised to the power 5 is equal to x raised to the power 3, then x is equal to what? Alright, let's solve. Solution. Okay. The question x raised to the power 5 equal to x raised to the power 3. I will move x raised to the power 3 from the right hand side to the left hand side so that it will look like this x raised to the power 5 minus x raised to the power 3 equal to 0. Next, x raised to the power 5 can be written as x raised to the power 3 multiplied by x raised to the power 2. Then, minus x raised to the power 3 equal to 0. I will factor out what is common. And what is common is x raised to the power 3, which is here, which is also here. Therefore, when it is factored out, inside the bracket I will have x raised to the power 2 minus 1 equal to 0. By product rule, x raised to the power 3 is equal to 0, and the also x raised to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to 0. What this means is that I will now write it as x raised to the power 3 equal to 0, and the also x raised to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to 0. So, application of product rule. From here, what I can do to remove this 3 is to take uh, maybe the power of uh, put both of them to power of 1 over 3. That means x raised to the power 3 multiplied by 1 over 3 is equal to 0 raised to the power 1 over 3. So that 3 cancel 3 giving me x and 0 raised to the power 1 over 3 is t 0. Also, from this side, x raised to the power 2 minus 1 can also be written in difference of two squares because 1 is the same thing as 1 raised to the power 2 because 1 raised to the power 2 is equal to 1. Therefore, I can write it as x okay, uh, raised to the power 2 minus 1 raised to the power 2, which means x raised to x minus 1 into x okay, plus 1 equal to 0. Okay, now it is called the difference of two squares. Alright, if I have a squared minus b squared, it is equal to a minus b into a plus b. That is called difference of two squares in mathematics. Therefore, x raised to the power 2 minus 1 raised to the power 2 is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 1, and they all are equal to 0. Meaning that by product rule, the first one x minus 1 is equal to 0, implying that x is equal to 1. Another answer for the value of x. Also, the second bracket, x plus 1, is equal to 0, implying that x is equal to negative 1. In conclusion, we have gotten all the values of x that is required. From here, we want to find the value of x. Therefore, x now, therefore, is equal to 0, then minus 1 and positive 1. These are the real solutions to the value of x. Thank you. But remember, subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos and share the video. Bye.